Hi, I'm John McCann from Survival Resources. I wanted to do a short video today on a new toolkit I've done. I've done various toolkits over the years, from large to small, but what I wanted to do was a mini. So I've made a mini toolkit, something that I can just throw in a get home bag, a bug out bag, or any type of a everyday carry bag, and it's made in a medium survival tin which we sell at Survival Resources, but this is not a survival kit. I want everyone to understand that this does not have survival items in it for starting fires or navigating any of this. This is strictly a toolkit, something that I can use for minor repairs when I'm out on the road or if I'm in a hotel or something like that. It'll give me enough tools in order to be able to fix something or repair something. So let's get inside this thing and I'll show you close-ups of how I put this together and what exactly is in it. Okay, as you can see, this is my mini toolkit. It's in a, what they call a large survival tin, which I said we sell at survival resources. Um, it's larger than an Altoids tin, but not a whole lot. But it's just large enough so that I could get a little more tools in here than I could have with an Altoids tin. In order to help keep this closed, I keep a ranger band on it, although as you can see it has tabs on it here in order to help keep this closed. So let's get inside this thing and see what we have. The first thing we have is 20 feet of duct tape and 20 feet of electrical tape. Now the idea of this is obviously for some small repairs, small electrical repairs, and I've wound this on an old charge card and I've cut it down so that it literally clicks inside here and this helps hold everything in place. Next thing you'll see is I have a four inch crescent wrench. This is very handy obviously for use for different types of small nuts, bolts, so it's always nice to have a crescent wrench. The next thing I have is a pair of Craftsman ignition pliers. Now these I've cut down. As you can see, these would be the normal the normal pliers here. And as you can see, I've cut them down in order to fit inside the tin. Of course, when you do that, you get less leverage on it, but it fits in the tin and I'd rather have something that especially a pair of ignition pliers than to have nothing. And if there's too large to go into my kit, then it, they're not worth having. Okay, next thing I have, desiccant, obviously, is I got a small pair of tweezers. Now these are no longer made. I bought these years ago. This was the original pocket tweez and a click out and come like this. And they're very, very precise little tweezers, very precise. So being they fit in the tin, I could have used, say, Uncle Bill's sliver grippers, but I like these because they're very substantial. The next thing I have in here is a small pry bar. This is a titanium bar made by Boker, and it just gives me a little bit of a pry in order to pry something apart with. Okay, the next thing I have stuck down in there is I have a roll of Kevlar. Yeah. Boy, I lost my mind here for a minute. Uh, Kevlar cordage. And the idea of that is that it's, it can be used for sewing. It can be used for a lot of different purposes. Okay, for a knife in here, I have an X-Acto knife. Now, again, it wouldn't quite fit into the tin. So what I did was I cut it down from a normal, a normal one so that it would fit inside the tin instead of having a larger one in there. Okay, next we have a miniature screwdriver set, which you all know we sell these at Survival Resources. This gives me a lot of miniature, real small screwdrivers. They're great for anything from repairing glasses to anything else. As I've shown on videos before, and in my books, Stay Alive, inside here I also carry a sewing on needle. And the idea of this sewing on needle is it can be put inside of this and now I have a miniature sewing oil so that I can sew a larger material with this thing. 
So I just keep that in the back along with all the small Phillips and straight head screwdrivers. Okay, the next thing I have, this here is very nice, very unique, very small. This is a Topeak bicycle kit ratchet. As, as you can see, this is a very small item, very small item. Uh, what I like about it, it does have a forward and a reverse on it, so you don't have to flip it over. You can use forward and reverse. Now, this comes in a kit called the Topeka Bicycle Kit, and it's a large thing like this, and it has all kinds of items in it, and what this does is it clips in here, and it gives you a complete kit. There's things here to repair bicycle, um, put tires on and off and that type of thing. But I bought it strictly so I could have this ratchet because I just think this is the greatest little ratchet out there. Um, inside here, I keep bits. Hex bits and X-Acto blades. Now the idea of this is I have various bits in here and I put them in these little rubber things that I found at some flea market so that they don't rattle. Also in the bottom of here is I keep two number 10 X-Acto blades and that obviously is to be used with the X-Acto knife holder. They fit right in there. This slides nice and tight on there so that there's no rattle. Along with this Topeka ratchet they also give you this magnetic extension. And the advantage of this is you can extend the end of this thing and use the magnet to hold different hex bits. The other advantage of it is it can be used in here and now you can have an extension on this side or you can use it to torque and this thing will take a lot of torque. It's very heavy duty. So this is a great little ratchet. If you don't have one, uh, I, got, I think I got mine on Amazon, but it's called the Topeka Bicycle Repair Kit or something to that effect. Okay, the other thing I have in here is one of our small saws. This gives me the ability, obviously, to saw. Swiss made blade. These are very good saws. Down in here I have a flashlight. I like having a small flashlight. This is the Nano Light. I hate to say again, available at Survival Resources, but it's a it's a it's a bright little light. So uh, it gives me at least minimum. I normally have flashlights on me somewhere, but this gives me a minimum of amount of flashlight. The other thing I put in here is three small. I call them jewelers files, and I have a triangular one, a flat one, and a round one. And what I do with these is I use them inside my miniature screwdriver. Now these come out of a larger set. This is called the uh, large file set and it has a bunch of files in here and that type of stuff. So I've taken three of them out of there, the three that I, I mostly use, and I've just put some heat shrink over them and yet they still they come out very easy. Slide out, slide in. I didn't heat shrink it so tight that you can't get them out of there. So that gives me a means in which to file with. The other thing I have in here is one of the Leatherman Squirt PS34s. And the reason for that is it has a very nice little pair of flat pliers on it. And these are very handy. Obviously, I have the adjustable wrench and I have the uh, ignition pliers. But this gives me a, a pretty nice precision pair of pliers. And what I also like about it, it has a very nice cutter on it. And these cutters are very precise. You can cut... Um, Anything with them, that small wire, small gauge wire, I cut copper wire with it all the time. Now there's some other things in here that uh, you might be able to use. Here's another file, but as you know, I already have a file. And it has a knife, so it gives you the ability, other than the X-Acto blades, to cut something a little bit heavier. Down in here we have a pair of scissors, which I like, because now we actually have a pair of scissors with us. And of course it has some small blades over here. It has a can opener, it has a screwdriver here, and a small 
type of driver here which is basically used for a Phillips head but it, I, I basically carry this because I really like the precise pliers that are in it last but not least I throw in a bunch of the uh, what we call my dental floss which we carry on our site and each one of these has 18 inches a floss in it. So now along with my sewing all, or there's also a sewing needle in there, I can use this to sew clothing, fix clothing, that type of stuff. Something that doesn't need something as robust as, as the Kevlar line. Okay, to keep everything from rattling in here, this is where it's hard to, exp it's not hard to explain, it's just whenever people see some of the kits I build, they may want to build one also. As you can see, these are all black on the inside. And what this is, it's material that I found many, many, many years ago when I was doing a countermeasure sweep at a place and a guy offered me some of this and they're, they were big round things. And what they are, it's almost like a foam velvet and it has self stick them on it. Now, as you can see, this is all I have left over all these years. I used to have a huge piece of this stuff, but I've used it over the years for other kits that I've done. But I was able to cut these out, these pieces, and just self-stick them in there. And in the lid, I stuck a piece in here. And it works as an anti-rattler. It's a real slight foam fit to it. So it keeps everything nice and tight in here. Anyway, this is the uh, mini tool kit. Well, there you have it. This is my mini tool kit. I showed you what's in it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, we thank you for joining us. We thank you for your support for survival resources and for my videos and my books. And we'll see you next time around.